Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nogat21. Welcome back to Let's Play. Then for tonight's two core campaign. Last time! We essentially kicked off the final battle with the King of Shadows. Hooray! Which involved uh, a bunch of undead, a couple shadow priests, and some vampires attacking the keep in the middle of the day. Which, unfortunately for the vampires, they were sleeping in their coffins when I arrived. So, quick pop of the lid, and they burned to ash. Ain't no way uh, you're gonna save yourselves in that situation, are you, you idiots? Uh, of course, nightfall comes and we're being attacked. Just after we spent a lovely evening with Elony in our own personal room. Take that as you will. Romance is surprisingly easy, even though it's a bunch of bullshit. Anyway, we're being uh, we're uh, blah, blah, blah. under attack, so it's time to repel the invaders. Fantastic. To the war room! If I can remember where I need to go. There's the war room. Hey, quartermaster supplies are still here. Quartermaster? Alright, let's see what you've got, if anything. Is it just standard magical equipment you're sawing? So far, it is. You do sell potions. And healer's kits. Okay, well, in that case... I could sell some of this crap. I cannot travel quickly carrying all this. Um, I'll keep the spell chain just in case. And that extra re ring of regeneration. Cause that is powerfully useful. Or I will sell all this crap. It's just normal core staff plus three. Get rid of it. Yeah, I made some money back. Not as much as I would hope to have made back, but I'll take what I can get. Did we turn the spare bedroom to Nasher's room? We did. For a sec there, I thought he was stuck in the kitchen. <laughs> Can't have the King of Neverwinter be stuck in the kitchen, oh no. Captain, let us begin. There is a little time left to talk. As you know, the King of Shadows' armies will soon attack the walls. Gaius brings his army at an early hour. Surprise is his ally here, but his cover of darkness will not last. No doubt he plans on a swift victory. Regardless, his siege towers have been spotted in the distance, and our men will need your guidance on the walls to repel them. What manner of creatures have we seen out there? Our scouts have seen the giant undead you spoke of yesterday. Worse, all manners of night walkers have been spotted. Shadows, wraiths, even vampires. I'm surprised there's no lycanthropes. Hmm. Any recommendations? Our first priority should be to take down those towers. They are too massive to be brought down by our weapons, so it will be impossible to avoid a fight on the walls. Once the towers have docked, concentrate on collapsing the front entryways. We may not be able to destroy the towers themselves, but we can render them useless. I have placed our best mages on the walls to repulse the towers. Only fire can bring them down, so you do well to protect our wizards. Uh, well, they arrived much sooner than I expected. Our delay at the bridge was only a momentary one. Garius must have pushed his army ferociously to have reached us so quickly. An advantage to having an untiring army, for certain. Oh, uh, well, the walls are late. Let's form a group and set out. Very good, sir. We will set two units at a time. Which of your companions should lead the first unit? Kelgard, it's your turn to step up. Be my pleasure to knock down the enemy down. You follow the normal. And let's assign you to your troops. Which troop should this commander lead? Kelgard, your clan of Iron Fist. So therefore, you shall lead the Iron Fist fighters. Very well, Captain. Who shall lead the second unit? Kazavir. It will be my honor to fight with you on the wall. This is what just an honor it is, Kazavir. Let's assign you to troops. Which troops should this commander lead? Kazavir, you're in charge of the Great Cloak Fighters. Very good, sir. Should your man fall, we'll send more able bodies to the wall. 
Between our great cloaks and allies, this keep has a full fighting force as it can hold. Even so, the numbers we are seeing on the walls are not encouraging. As determined as we may be, we cannot stop a large so a force so large for long. How long are we able to hold? Perhaps we can hold for a night at most, but the numbers are not on our side. There's a new observation. We cannot last without reinforcements on our allies from Waterdeep or at least a day away. What's the best way to disable siege towers? Bringing them down entirely will be difficult. We'll have to collapse the entrances with fire. If not then by hand, then doing so will be a tremendous task. The enemy will have no way to cross over to our walls once that happens. Then, our mission is clear. We must hold until dawn. And we shall, sir. Even if Black Garius has managed to invade the outer courtyard, his forces will find the outer inner walls doubly difficult to breach. You will likely not have a chance to rearm once you leave for the battlements. Do you need to make any final preparations? No, there is no time. I will leave for the walls immediately. Sir, before you go, take this. Lord Nasher himself instructed that this rod be given to you. Its magic will restore the fallen to life. Every soldier's life matters, but the leaders must survive. This battle will rest upon the command of you and your companions. Good luck, Captain. You are my word. We will hold. Oh boy! You give me a rod of resurrection! I wonder if you're setting me up for failure already, game. You're probably doing that regardless. Captain! The first of the towers will reach us at any moment! We don't know what we can to slow their advances, but they're too well shielded! We're certain that our walls are ready for the attack, fully rebuilt and reinforced. Those catapults and arrows won't be coming through easily, even the siege towers do. I almost pity the enemy, the arrow gloves we land into the walls and tear them to shreds once the tower's docked. For siege towers, Karn said that fire is our best chance and has sent to keep wizards their lives are our lives. Well, the fighting dragon don't go for the scales, go for the mouth. Destroy the tower's jaws, no more troops can come through. So, hit the entrance of the tower. Understood. And Kelgar has leveled up. Follow me! Do, 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 do. Empty body. What the fuck does that do? I'm actually rather curious about this. Empty body. The monk gains 50% concealment for a number of rounds between his class levels. He uses this ability twice per day. Wow, that's interesting. And because Kelgar does not have elemental gauntlets, it's best that he sticks with his hammer. Okay. Yes. Let's just save here just to uh, make sure nothing bad or untoward happens to us. Okay, where is the first siege town? Okay, first off, look at the map. What have we got? We've got Keep Battle Mage, Keep Battle Mage. I don't see them. Ah! Those are the siege towers. Is it one at a time? Oh, no, they're co one's coming. Press the attack. All right. I cannot see shit. Well, you guys can handle that. I'm going to head down on this way cuz oh boy. Would you arrows piss off, please? Take that! Do -do 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 -do. I hope you guys like some fucking fire. You guys enjoyed that. I'm gonna go take care of this. If I can actually move there. This one stands. It's a good thing I brought. Very capable melee.
This is gonna be a back and forth, isn't it? I don't think we're gonna be able to rest here. Just a hunch. Oh boy, well. Hey guys, hope you like divine energy. If I could actually eat right. How do you Eat this vampire scum. That didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. How you doing over here, Kilgar? Oh, you're doing perfectly fine. I might as well do some healing. Well, not popped. Let's bend the wall! Oh, what, what? Okay. Well, not popped. Dead. Do, 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 heal this guy. Well, not popped. Hey! Yogar levels up again! I guess he was close enough for a level. Another point of dexterity, or another wisdom? Let's improve his AC by a point. Why not? Perfect self. Oh boy, Kelgar is now completely overpowered. Jeez. Perfect self. The monk gains immediately all mind effective spells, effects, and damage reduction, 10 over magic. Jesus. Hey Kelgar, your eyes gonna start glowing? No, I think that's only a feature in Neverwinter Nights 1. Where a high-level monk uh, eyes glow depending on their alignment. Maybe that's just a character thing. Wait a minute. Lord! Song of Rege Regeneration. No. How many siege towers do you have? I think that's the last one. Well, the arrows ain't doing much to us, but they're doing annoyances to the soldiers. Why not? I... Oh, you guys are dicks. Enjoy this! That didn't work. Oh, a Dread Ray! Excuse me while I just uh, use my abilities here. Hey, Casper was up too! Is everyone going to be level 20 by the end of this? You're only supposed to go up to level 18, normally. My god. My OCD of collecting every single side quest is paying off dividends here. Smite evil, more of it. Fifth level, and every five levels after that, gains an additional use per day. Who's more tankier, Kazabir or Kelgar? Uh, looks Kelgar, like we because he's a dwarf. Company. Is there any spells that could be a here? Probably not. I think Captain, all the siege towers have been destroyed! Uh, sir. Captain, the gate will not hold! They're coming through! That's a big skeleton. Have a taste of this. Soldiers, fall back to the inner courtyard. I'll join you shortly. Either at the keep or in the hells. Let us take the battle to the courtyard and make our stand there. The walls there have yet to be breached.
Whew. Man, toffee, toffee? No, not toffee. Soldiers, shut the gates. The captain has arrived with the remaining forces. Captain, look! The sun has emerged from its slumber. Garius may have fought his way under cover of darkness, but his troops are no doubt now burning under daylight's rays. And burn they should. My followers hope our men on the walls attack any that foolishly remain. Even with its remaining undead, the King of Shadows will be hard pressed to breach the inner walls. Without their towers, they'll be defenseless against our attacks from above. Yes, defenseless. If you stay on the walls, you know, you might live through this. Maybe. Or maybe I'll see you in the Shadow Army before dawn. Okay, Bishop, what are you talking about? Let me show you. This gate of yours isn't coming down, which means this precious keep of yours won't be standing long. Don't bother trying to repair the gate mechanism. I took a look at it earlier and it was much easier to destroy than I thought. I doubt you'll survive, but I will, and I'm never on the losing side. Your orders, Captain. Well, Bishop just ran off on me. Fantastic. Although that's rather pragmatic of him. I don't blame him for that. Tell the man to be strong and we shall win this day. The sun itself has come to our aid. We must hold this courtyard as long as possible. Be brave men, for the sun has come to our aid. Captain, this blockade is our last stand. Which of your companions should I send to fight alongside you? You know what? Let's have... You know what? The hell with it. Kelgar stuck with us since the beginning, so he'll join us at the end. Who else? Who else has stuck with us since the beginning? But who's... <laughs> I would pick Nishka just because she's been with us too. But she's not very useful against undead. So, let's have Elony join us this time. Our men will form a line within the blockade. Let the enemy come to us in the center, where they may taste the steel of our arrows. We'll send in additional units as you need them, sir. Which would you like as the first? Did your voice change? Let's get the wizard men a shot. And which unit should stay with you along the front lines, Captain? Iron Fist Fighters. Hannah, the undead, they don't feel the light. What? The vampires, the shadows, all of them. They're still coming. They're here. Do not fear, men. Hold the line and stand your ground, damn it. Here they come. Oh boy. Hey, we leveled up too. Damn it, wrong class. Keep misclicking. I could make myself a divine champion in Eldritch Knight or a member of the Neverwinter Nine. Yay! The divine champion is a strong right arm referred of their deity. They serve as guardians of holy sect, protectors pilgrims, blah blah blah. Bonus attack, plus seven, map and focus. Dur, 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 dur. Lay on hands, bonus feats. This is essentially what the uh, Champion of Torm cl Prestige Class Neverwinter Nights 1 turned into. Although I think this is more accurate to pen and paper. Let's stick with the favorite soul. Uh, two skill points. You know what, just for the hell of it. Spellcraft. I wish I had more skill points, but I don't. Great Cleave! Thank God. No new spells, huh? Yes. Fair enough. Elni! Um. Okay, more wisdom. Yeah, mental shake two times per day. You have new spells, don't you? Yes, another casting of 8th and ninth level spells. Holy balls. 
Let's have another elemental swarm. Actually, no. Instead, let's have a burst of great glacial wrath. And for this, let's have storm avatar. No, wait. Sunburst. That'll be useful. Can I rest here? I actually can rest oh, here. Me. Or I could. My Marduk inspiration is still up. Get rid of power attack, that's not gonna save me. Where are you going? Get back here, you son of a bitch! Do I want to use any of the abilities on the Silver Sword? Not right now. Whoops. Suck on divine energy, motherfuckers! Jeez. Ah. I can't tell if that's me doing damage or Ellie doing damage. Probably both. I think I made the correct call on who to pick, because Kelgar's How kicking ass! And he's not even using his fists, which are his stronger weapon! Go Kelgar! <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of annoyed with myself that uh, he's not going to gain any bonuses by using the fucking hammer. But monks are broken! Captain! We can't keep this up forever. There are too many. And even with Dawn's light. You can do nothing. You think Dawn favors you, soldiers of Neverwinter? By my lord's grace, I can make even creatures of darkness unafraid of your precious light with but a few thoughts. Now, Captain, you will return my key to me. I'll see you dead before this key falls, Garius. We must deal with Garius, and quickly. As long as he maintains this spell, the legions under his command will only grow stronger. Oh, that's not good. Oh. My lord still waits at the threshold of this tiny world. But his avatar is more than enough to end you and your army. Oh, my. Don't be going anywhere, Garius. You're the next one who dies. Okay. This what is, is going to be a fight from hell, I can just already tell. I'm kind of annoyed that Bishop decided to piss off, but Phoenix ability. Beginning at 8th level, Warlock knows a trick of Phoenix resistance. Once per day, you can enter a state that lasts for 2 minutes. When this state, the Warlock gains fast healing 1 and 13. The Phoenix Warlock's resilience improves. With Phoenix resistance, he gains fast healing 2 instead. 18th level, Warlock Phoenix resistance improved to fast healing 5. Damn! Another, uh, uh, feat. Since he's using a scimitar, does he have an improved critical scimitars? There we go. Another evocation. Um, what's Eldritch Doom do? Eldritch Doom, this casts bolts of magical energy, last food to all several targets with quick error. This is not a ray attack, so it requires no ranged touch attack. Each target can attempt a reflex save for half damage. Yes, please. Ooh, level up again. Wait a minute. He can get to level 20. Ooh, boy. Or almost level 20. Yes. And Xavi has the lowest influence out of every character. Go figure. I rarely used her. Um. I 
do not know what to give you. What do you recommend, game? You recommend Quicken Spell. Why Metamagic Feats? Let's just give her improved Critical Spear. It's not gonna work against the undead, but why not? And we need to fix your spells. Oh god, we need to fix your spells. Okay. It's like, I, I approve of the negative energy ray, but uh, we're facing against massive amounts of undead, so it's not really gonna do anything. Seriously, metamagic spells are only useful either for damaging, or if you're an arcane spellcaster that uses armor. Um, uh, st Storm of Vengeance, Lightning and Acidic Rain, alright. Let's see, you have Great Vision Deity, Mass Heal, Gate's not gonna be useful, and Ocean. Yeah, Storm of Vengeance. Level 8, Sunbeam. Level 7. Let's get a uh, casting of Mass Cure Serious Wounds. Level 5. Let's have a casting of. And there are uses to Flame Strike and Greater Spell Magic. Level 4. Let's have another Hammer of the Gods. Level 3, let's have two castings of. Series wounds, level two, bull strength, level one, more healing, cantrips, nothing but heals. Okay. Wait a minute. Can I, I can I get to Black Gary's? I don't think I can. Filthy Hellspawn. More have come to block our path. Okay, Gary's is frightened. That's not good. No, Gary's is frightened. Jero is frightened. So let's have Xiave do this. Or we can't because we're not near the fuck. We can't get to the guy. The Nightwalker! What's this thing? This creature looks like a humanoid giant, taller than a house and close to your darkness, and wears no clothing, has smooth, hairless skin, and has a genderless body. Genderless body, my ass. That looks like male features to me. What? How? How? Is this possible? How could you defeat it? The sword was broken. Broken! Now is the time. We must begin the recitation. I am ready. Java, you may want to hurry up and recant. Yeah, re recite the true name. So much for that, uh, power in daylight, huh? Dawn comes and the enemy flees! Wipe them out! them but do not engage we already hold the field the day is ours you have done well better than we could have hoped your leadership has saved this keep and preserved the lives of many soldiers Lord Nasher thanks you as do I well thank the soldiers they're the ones who saved this day not I know that you have fought well this day but as long as the King of Shadows remains within his fortress, there is no victory. We must find a way to reach him. 
to pierce the veil of shadows around him. If we cannot, then we have lost, and it is only a matter of time for us. I think perhaps it is time to see what Aldenon has found. Indeed! Like there's something stuck in my hair, but I know there isn't anything stuck in my hair. All right, let's rest so we can regain all our spells. Well, that was interesting to see. Excuse me for a moment. I gotta go take care of something. Sorry about that, I had to take care of something. <sighs> okay, moving on. Whatever preparations you need to do, make them quickly. Crossroad Keep cannot survive another assault. And if it falls... At last, this tome you found. Quite a wondrous thing, really. I was able to use it to... I suppose the best layman's term is unfetter the connections between here and there. Unfetter? And where is there and here exactly? Yes, you see the tome has a certain duality to it, like two pages facing each other in a closed book. If you open them, they are apart, but closed, they are right next to each other. You see? That is the most genius thing I have ever heard! I love the Neverwinter Nights one throwback right here. So, the book can make two points closer together? Yes, the tome can make a doorway, and it can also pinpoint a location within the veil. But what he's really saying is that we can use the tome to teleport into the lethal heart of Mayor Delane, which everyone seems to agree is a great idea, for some reason that is unfathomable to me. Yes, that's it. Should all work well in theory, really? Aldenon, what do you mean in theory? Don't worry, it should take us right where we want to go. The tome, once unlocked, is said to be very dependable. Then we need to go at once, before the King of Shadows regroups. He and Garius will not wait long before they attack us again. Know that the King of Shadows' realm lies deep in the Mare, in one of the ancient ruins of the Ilfarn Empire in the ruins of what he was created to protect. It is in the heart of Merdelaine. My people once called the Mare the slow marching court, as the tides came in and slowly claimed the land. Now it is shadow that marches from there, slowly seeping into the land. Oh, come on, Eleni. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, that the captain and us haven't already faced. The portal could accidentally take us into a different veil, say, one filled with lava! Hard to get out of that, let me tell you! And how would you know what it's like to be stuck in lava, Gromnar? Enough talk! Let go! Very well. Whenever you young people are ready, I can send you off. I am ready. All right. Just a few last inscriptions to trace. A brief activation word. Good fortune to you, Captain. Everyone's coming along, apparently! And the same for me, Captain. May the gods watch over you. Good luck to you all. We will all most likely die if you fail, uh, but try to keep that from your mind. You're a great, great supporter, Aldenon. My, I really do like those adventurers, such spirit. To face a being like the King of Shadows? Well, I'd rather see that from a distance, I can tell you that. Oh, Aldenon, you're great at speeches, aren't you? Of course, I don't know what I was expecting from a sage wizard. I was expecting someone a little bit more serious, but the forgetful old man is uh, acceptable. Great! We always go to the best places in the realms. Are you sure that tome worked right, Sand? Yes, it did. But without knowing the exact location where the King of Shadows is... So the tome was useless, then? We wouldn't even be here without it, you idiot girl, so I suggest... Well, the tome worked, but this is as close as we could get. And maybe Aldenon chose to send us here. Or sand. Enough. 
The defenses of Ilfarn still surround us. Even if we had known his location, we would have ended up here. Even with the Tome's power, the wards around Ilfarn remain strong, indeed. Finding the King of Shadows will be even harder than I thought. Hard? It looks like there's only one place to go. Straight ahead. I don't think he's trying to hide at all. I don't think he is either. And I think there's more than walls blocking our path ahead. Even in this place, something must still live. And I think we have not yet had our final say with the King of Shadows' allies, Garius or Bishop. I'm still not convinced Bishop turned on us on purpose. It does not matter what you believe any longer. If we meet him here, then he will finally speak the truth. And perhaps you will believe his words over mine. We should also beware of wards and traps as well. And at no point should we separate. Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't think Nishka heard you. She... well... she seems to be gone. Huh? She was right here! Did she sneak off? Did... did... did the King of Shadows do this? Yes. She was taken. Taken? What? By the King of Shadows? Know that I think we must be on our guard, and our wills must be focused on the task ahead. If we allow ourselves to be divided in group or mind, then he will win. The Gith is correct. We need to reach the King of Shadows, and quickly. If this is the only route before us, then so be it. But we must move on. Oh boy! Oh, both of you guys are coming with me. Cool. Um... Sand... And... Sand and... This is probably gonna be a mistake. Quora, come on down! I got a feeling this is gonna be a terrible, terrible mistake. I can care. But who cares, right? Two more level nine spells, or two spells in any school. Um. Well, the Banshee and. Da, 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 da. Mordecai is disconjunction. These wizards are broken. Well, any spellcaster is broken at high levels. Alright! A bonus speed! What do you recommend, game? You recommend greater spell penetration. Works for me. Two more spells! Power word, kill, and etherealness. What's going Quora, on? Quora, your turn. Burst of the Gracial Wrath, why not? Okay, level spell, um... Let's have you learn... Incendiary Cloud! More points of the Charisma. Recommended. Um, let's have you learn Big B's Crushing Hand! All right, Sam. I think it is time everyone marched behind me. Oh yeah, I forgot. I didn't fix your spells leader. earlier. Whoops. Oh well, no time like the present. Can trips. Let's have you all. Yeah, why not? Another casting of uh, burning hands for level one. Unless there's another one I want. Yeah, that'll work. Level 2! Get rid of all this crap. Level 2! Two castings of death armor. Uh, extend spell. No, thank you. Uh, two ghostly visages. Two castings of, uh, Gedley's electric loop. And one casting of, um... You know what, Ghoul Touch. Wait a minute. Does that do negative energy? No. Alright. Level 3! Lightning Bolt. Level 4. 
Uh, let's have an ice storm. Level five. Let's give you a. Um. Let's have a dismissal. Level seven. Let's have uh, first max spray and another spell mantle. Level eight. Another sunburst and another polar ray for level nine. Let's have a whale of the banshee, power word kill, and Mordecai's disconjunction. Rest. And for some forsaken reason, Nishka has been taken by the King of Shadows. Fantastic. Options, save. If I can reach the chamber where the King of Shadows is at, then we're good. But first, can we get some lights up in this place, or what? Is there any point in me looting the corpses here? Any point at all? Well, they have some random thingamabobs I could probably use, so I guess. Or we could just have a shit ton of spunk spiders. Oh man, how'd you get poison the meat? Oh, that's why. Spiders. Are you classified as undead? Damn. Yeah. Oh, it's a construct. Four, yeah. why are you over there? Hey. I'm coming to save you. Or I was. Apparently it wasn't needed. How many spiders are in here? Well, I will get to you, but apparently I'm stuck. My god! High level spells being thrown around here! It's insane! Thank you for the gold. You beat that spider with that stick, Sand! You can do it! Oh, it's a bad day when Sand's doing more damage than me with a melee attack. Hey, thieves tools that I'm never gonna use! I don't think the game was meant to have this many people in the party because it's really screwing with their empathic AI. It's kind of slowing down the game, which is annoying. Or maybe it's because I'm zoomed out too far and has to load a shit ton of stuff. That's probably the reason. Then again, I'm at the end of the game anyway, so it doesn't look like I. It doesn't look like I can't even properly. Enunciate my own thoughts. I can't seem to go a single video without fucking up my own speech. And I'm not even reading off a goddamn script. That's how fucked my ability to talk is, apparently. Fantastic. Now, are we done here? Can we rest? Yes, we can. Get rid of the summons. Okay, well, that just is being mean. Hey, do you guys uh, like fire? Because I have some for you. Let our enemies fall before us. I was going to say, Almond, you are kind of stuck there, boy.
Get into the fight, old man. You can do this. Oh, more thieves tools. Fantastic. Well, that was rather interesting to watch. Oh, hey, a scroll and a pair of bracers. I wish you would bet the bracers suck. Listening, really. Brace of R plus three, yep. Hey, blue balls. You have need of me? Okay, well, if we rest, apparently we get sworn by uh, enemies. The door is locked, huh? Do any of these corpses have a key of a description? No. Fair enough. Let's get over here then. Take a rest. There are enemies nearby. Alright then. The only course, proper course of action is to blow this door the fuck up. Considering the fucking King of Shadows stole our only rogue. Bash the door down, please. Ow, traps. I'm so hurt by it. What does trap even do? It decreased my strength. Whoa! This area is bigger than I thought. Okay, let's just ignore the corpses. And kill the enemy, shall we? What's this? That's a strange black fog. That's a strange black fog. That's to the ritual site. Oh, I hate fighting grapes. Not being able to hit them sucks. 32 magic damage to the face. That will kill them. Oh, it's a good thing getting more class levels and the abilities to cast your spells in, because that does more damage. Also, I get a certain heat that increases my uh, casting level. And I am out of coffee. Fantastic. No wonder I can't hit him for crap. I don't have power. I have power attack a lot. You know, it really shouldn't matter so much. It does, because my attack bonus is shit. Excuse me, moi? You did not just resist that. 40 points of damage, and you're barely injured. You have a lot of HP. Thankfully, though, everyone's overpowered as fuck. Because high levels is really fucking broken. Alright, we've got uh, places to go. We've got Black Fogs and Black Fogs and a Ritual Sanctum. I got a feeling the Ritual Sanctum is where I'm supposed to go. Oh, you are mean to me, game. That's just being rude. This ain't the time to fucking sing a song. And I've been knocked down, great. What is it? Whoa! Um, hmm. Apparently, Almond's AI routine. Let our enemies fall before us! What's Q do? Oh yeah, that's sidestepping. Well, I know how to fix this. I only need one casting of Eldritch Spear game. Well, it's Eldritch Blast. Hideous Blow. Dark Ones of Luck. Deep 
and bounds. Up a shadow blast. Da, 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 the dead walk. Devour magic. Control a blast. Walls of perilous flame. Retribution invisibility. Invulnerability? No invisibility. Um, is there anything else I need to put down here? Do, 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 do. Nope. There we go. Oh, Java, yes. you leveled up too. More spells! Uh, let's get mass heal again. Level 8, let's get another sunbeam. Level 6. Level 6, let's get another... Um, ah, why not? Mass bull strength. Level 2. Let's get another casting of cure moderate wounds. A lot of healing. And for good reason, too. Dingle dicks! Eldritch Chain Blast! Which is essentially free unlimited free castings of chain lightning. Seriously, Eldritch Blast is a broken mechanic. You can cast as many times as you want, without any hassle whatsoever, and as you level up, it gets stronger too. And you can modify it in so many ways because of the Warlock's own class abilities. It's great! Oh, an elite vampire, you say? Suck on this! I'll let the end do anything for you. Okay, it's in bounds. Have some devour magic. Not so tough on protections, are you? Draw a glass. Not so tough, are you? About your magic protections, are you, bitch? Suck on the hideous blow! Or you can just die, that works too. No point Prisma. Recommended. Ooh, improved fire or cold resistance. Let's do improved. Both, okay. Bonus feats, sure, why not? Another evocation. Let's get uh negative energy. No. Binding? Any creature suck a we'll say be stunned. Um Let's get Dark Foresight. Finish. 96 9d6 Points of damage per round with Eldritch fucking blast. It's broken as fuck. And I love it! I love overpowered shit when you actually get it. It feels so good. Okay, enough fucking around. Let's see if I can find this massive shadow. It's all over the place. Or I could go interrupt that ritual. Wait a minute. Hello. Okay, there's no way to get up there, which means I have to actually go the way that's only open to me. Fuck! I'm being led through a funnel! Oh no! A trap! I'm so scared! Oh no! What am I supposed to do? And that took us onto the secondary level. Alright, I guess there's no way turning back. What, do the corpses only have things that can heal me? An alchemist fire, of course. That makes sense. Yes. I concur. Hey, Sand, do yourself a favor and drink some potions! You have need of me? 
Ah, a door. Locked, you say? You know, instead of trying to do this melee, Jarrah, yes. where are you? You're all the way back here. <sighs> all right. All right. All right. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. We'll work with it. Elder, it's blast that door to oblivion. Let's see, 96. That is 54 damage at maximum, right? 9 times 6, yeah. No, wait. Did I do my math right? 54! My uh, mental arithmetic is one of my weakest skills. What's through here? A bunch of corpses. And a blade golems. Oh, good lord, blade golems. Oh, this is not good. All men get out of there before you end up unconscious. We have new friends. Sand, you're kind of stuck, aren't you? Oh, boy. that is good. Ah. Ah. Oh. 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 Go on, man, kick their ass! Ow. Oh, this is bad news. I walked into in a situation where things turn out very poorly for me. Yeah. I am no more. Yeah, I thought that would happen. Oh, I'm all the way back here too. Oh, all right, all right, game, you win. Against my bare judgment, you win. <sighs> well, this is gonna be fun. Can't exactly do anything because pillars are in the way. All of you, follow me! Well, need of me? ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna stop it here. I've been NoGuy21, this has been Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2 Core Campaign. And next time should be the final episode if I can reach the King of Shadows within the hour limit I set for myself. Or I could just go over, that works too. But until then, thanks for watching, have a wonderful evening, and I'll see y'all next time.